a couple of aces in the hole in this matchup as Placer sends out Southpaw Cam Staten and Lincoln went with sophomore Jackson Cook. And if you like pitching, this was a game for you. Staten came out throwing bullets, striking out the side to start the game. We can all see now why Westmont wants him so bad to pitch for them in college. And then Lincoln's Jackson Cook was up for the challenge as well as he matched zeros with Staten. Top of the fourth, Lincoln has no narker on third, but again, Cam was tough to hit. Slamming the door to end the inning, we got no score. Fifth inning now, Nick Schaefer picks up his second hit of the game, legging out the ball in the hole. Winters makes a nice play, but Schaefer's on. Then with two outs, Schaefer on second. Cook is able to get a ground ball to short. This time, Winters is able to get the final out of the inning. Next inning, Lincoln's Nathan Munch smacks the pitch, but right at Hayden Bailey, standing at third, and the Zebras go down quietly. In the seventh, still no score. Winters on second after a double, but once again, Cam Staten strikes out another Zebra batter to end the inning. Cam had 18 punch outs in the game. We go to extras, and that's when Lincoln got it going on. Cam out due to the pitch count. Zebras let him up for Noah Narker, and he gets an RBI on a ball four bases loaded deal. Andrew Aceto comes in to score one nothing. Then it's Jackson Cook who delivers a liner to the outfield. Cade Spolmer scores. It's two nothing now. And the Fighting Zebras pick up one more. Here's Narker caught too far off second base. But he gets in a pickle, and that's when Nathan Munch breaks from home, and he's in as for the third run of the game, and that would do it. 3 nothing. Lincoln wins, but what a pitching performance by Staten and Cook. The guy did great, and uh, our bats weren't hot. Our bats took a little bit to heat up, and so I just you know, did my thing. I had to help the boys out defensively, and then we came through offensively.